Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Napa County Airport is a medium-sized, primarily corporate and general aviation airport located between the cities of Vallejo and Napa in Northern California. This location makes it an attractive destination for pilots visiting the famous Napa Valley wine country. Traffic consists of everything from experimental home-built aircraft all the way to large corporate jets. The runway configuration consists of one set of parallel runways with staggered thresholds, one and one niner left and right, as well as runway six and two four. Runway 624 intersects runway 1 left 1 niner right, but not the shorter parallel runway. The taxiway system provides access to the services, hangars, and businesses on the east and southeast sides of the airport. As with other airports with parallel runways and staggered thresholds, the possibility for wrong runway landings and departures exists at Napa. This happens predominantly when the airport is landing runway 19 left and right. The terrain issue to be discussed later may be partially responsible for this. During flight planning, pilots should familiarize themselves with the airport layout and note that besides being half the size of the other runway, the threshold for runway 1 right, 19 left is staggered significantly. When cleared to land runway 19 left, do not make the common mistake of approaching the larger, more dominant looking runway 19 right. In addition, be aware of the fact that you may be initially assigned one runway and for any number of reasons, changed to the other. Ensure you read back the runway number with your landing clearance and left or right when applicable and be sure the numbers you visually acquire match the runway on which you have been cleared to land. The surrounding terrain can be challenging for the first-time traveler to Napa. Mountains to the north and northeast do not allow straight-in approaches to the parallel runways 1 and 1 niner left and right. A modified base leg entry is the normal VFR arrival, and IFR aircraft conduct an approach to either runway 1 left or runway 6 and circle to runway 1 niner. Pilots need to pay close attention to the tower instructions and execute them precisely. If you are unsure of any instructions, ask. Hotspot 1 is located at the intersection of taxiways Alpha, Charlie, and Echo. Aircraft parked at the terminal or any of the transient parking areas need to be aware that this is a potentially confusing intersection. A clear understanding of your own position Taxi route, turns, and hold short instructions is critical prior to taxiing through this intersection. Use of the airport diagram or moving map display to understand your route, along with scanning outside the aircraft for markings and signage, will help avoid this potentially confusing situation. Hotspot 2 is located at the intersection of runway 24 and taxiway Alpha. Aircraft and vehicles transiting to and from the facilities located on the southeast corner of the field have crossed runway 24 without clearance. Remember, you need an ATC clearance to cross any runway, active or not. Hotspot 3 is found at the intersection of runway 624 and runway 1 left, 1 niner right. During different traffic flows, the tower may use these runways to taxi aircraft to one runway or the other. The problem comes when pilots utilizing the runways to taxi fail to hold short of the active runway as instructed. As with Hotspot 2, when pilots encounter a runway hold short line, they must have an ATC clearance to cross. If you are in doubt or confused, don't guess, ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Napa County Airport will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient.
We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Napa County Airport. It's always better to know before you go.